So we've just arrived at the Chateau de Grato. 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 Chateau de Grato. That's the one. <laughs> I think, anyway. I think. I mean, it's a church. There's a church. There's a church. It's part of the grounds. So I think we have to do a little bit of a walk to get there. But um, it's nice. It's nice and peaceful. Yeah, it's quiet. So we thought we'd go and check it out and see what we can find. So when I was doing a bit of Googling, trying to find out what this place is, there was the Lord of Grotto, the guy who lived in the house. He came home one day and heard a fairy by the fountain who was his fairy. And his fairy seduced him and married him. But for their union to be possible, he was never allowed to say the word death. We're gonna go and find out if we can finish the story because it only had part of the story on the internet, which is really annoying. So hopefully we can get in and actually find out what happened to Lord Gratto and his fairy. I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along, I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world. So just say yes Choose to do whatever comes next This or that Getting drunk on whiskey on a Tuesday night or Drinking well I'm buying an open fire Make love a fire This or that This or that Evening's on the train to catch a morning fly Join dinner until midnight A glimpse of Panama We don't need a map I'll let you know when we've arrived Yeah, we can travel the world So just say yes Choose to do whatever comes next used as lower rooms by which the Lord's house was entered in the 15th century. They were used by the servants in the 17th century and had direct access to the rooms of the chateau by the towers. Among the three cellars which have been restored, two have sub-based vaults and the third presents groin vaults. <laughs> A bit creepy, isn't it? Yeah. The vaults of two of the three cellars have collapsed at the beginning of the restoration work. It's quite eerie, isn't it? Oh, you can't go up the towers. Oh, that's a shame. The square tower was a This or that. This or that. To the top of the tower we go. <laughs> Quite a long way up. Should get some nice views from up here. Lovely like architecture around the windows. Hmm. Still going. <laughs> oh, we're getting near the top now, are we? That's interesting. <laughs> about going to the loft every night. <laughs> Imagine coming up them stairs every night to bed. Bloody hell. Still goes up. <laughs> Just falling down quicker. Um, We've got up right to the top of the square tower. And then it goes up like two more flights, but it's pitch black, you can't see a thing. And 
there's a really eerie feeling about being here. It does feel weird. I don't know what it is, but it just feels... It's the story of the fairy. Okay, so Jess is going to tell you the story of the fairy when we get back downstairs. But, um, yeah, spooky. Spooky place. Okay, so as I said earlier when I came down the, the turret, which is this one here. See if I can... There's top. So that's where we just were up in the, the bedroom up there. Um... And as I said, when I was coming down, I got a really eerie feeling. So Jess has been reading the story about this place and it apparently explains why I have an eerie feeling. Yeah, so I said out there about the Lord that lived here and the fairy in the fountain. Him and the fairy were married for seven years and he wasn't allowed to say the word death. One day the Lord was holding a, I think it was like a garden party in the grounds and his wife was taking a really long time to get ready. So he stood at the bottom of the tower and called up to her in the bedroom and basically said, why are you taking so long? You'll die before, before the party. Death will become you. So he'd said the word death and she let out this enormous cry and she disappeared. Apparently, on stormy nights, you can still hear the fairy screaming, la mort, death. And it's just a bit eerie and yeah, apparently her ghost is here. So that might be why you had a funny feeling there. Yeah, see, so I don't believe in ghosts <laughs> at all. Not in the slightest bit. None of that story I ring, do. rings true to me whatsoever. But there is a bit of a weird feeling. And if you do ever get a chance to come to this part of France, definitely do come here. Um, there's an honesty box on the door. It's only four euros each yeah, to come in here, which cheap. goes towards the upkeep of the place. But it's amazing. I mean, I'll do, um, let me, how do I say? I'll do a little bit of a little 360, but you can see we're surrounded by the rivers. So there's a uh, moat, yeah, that's what the word I was looking for. Um, so there's a moat, and then there's obviously the gatehouse where we came through just here. They're um, all stables. I just, I just, I go. just read, <laughs> they're all stables. Okay, so they're stables for what I imagine was the house that was here. Yes. Um, the house is quite a ruin, um, and picnics are forbidden. <laughs> Surprisingly though, although it's a ruin, the towers are still intact. So the, the roof off of the main house, um, obviously you'll see as we walk around, but the roof off the main house is now gone. Um, but all the towers are still intact, which is quite amazing because they are, although they're stone, they're wooden beam as well. So yeah, definitely worth coming here. Yeah. So this obviously was the garden uh, that Jess was talking about, I guess, where they held their party. Yeah. Um, but if I spin round here back to the house, you can see the main house is actually still intact. Um, it's this middle part here, which is like an entrance hallway, I guess, because it's where the main door is. Mm. And then a courtyard here um, that's damaged. The rest of the house and the building is completely intact. Now, I don't know if I can pick it up just here on top of the building. You can see there's a little... I would guess it's like a finish, a cornice, like a finish into the building. If you look at the, if I try not to fall in the river, um, up here, there's one on the main house as well. Um, I think they're quite, they're used for like finishing off buildings. But this one up here, actually from where we're standing, looks like a woman with her hands on her head, screaming. screaming. That's a bit weird. I'll try and get some footage now and show you. I should have taken the drone up and have a look. <laughs>
we just came down to the stables here and I just thought I'd try the door. <laughs> I came into the door and um, the lights just randomly turned on. So that was a bit eerie. It was quite interesting. There's some nice pictures. I'll, I'll switch the camera and show you. But an amazing place to come and visit um, definitely recommend we'll put a, a little map here somewhere um just to show whereabouts we are and we'll put a what three words and a what three words we've been told to start doing what three words so we will put a what three words up in the description um so i think that's probably going to be it for this week's uh, vlog yeah. um please consider subscribing um new year new subscribers let's bump those numbers up <laughs> <laughs> um, give us a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it um or if you didn't don't <laughs> um <laughs> it's explaining how a thumb works there and of course ring that little bell ding, ding, and that'll ding, let ding. you know uh, when our next video is coming out um we're not quite sure where we're going to be next week but um no yeah <laughs> that's how much planning goes into our videos but um yeah we hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you all next week see you next week bye bye